Hello Cancers, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of October of 2022 spiritual guidance reading. So for the Cancer reading, I've been guided to the Osha Zen Tarot deck and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. Uh, but before I do, I'm going to quick switch the camera from pointing towards me over here to my tripod so you can see the reading as I lay it out before me in just one moment. All right, Cancer, so here we are. This is the, uh, why am I suddenly forgetting? Osha Zen Tarot deck, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Cancer needs to hear this information the most. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Cancer with clearly defined messages of spiritual guidance for the second half of October of 2022. Oh boy. Okay, so right off the bat, Cancer, we have someone here who has the Seven of Swords energy. Uh, this card or energy is all about self-sabotage, self-destructive tendencies. In the Thoughts position, we have this beautiful Empress energy. So maybe you are a mother figure, grandmother figure, or you are thinking in the thoughts position of someone who is in that position. Now, there may be a cancer who is thinking about giving birth to a connection whereby there is some form of unhealthy energy, energies of lies, deception, or manipulation. Yeah, so in the relationship sector, right now in the area of wands, right, home, family, and business, Spirit is saying you will be connecting and giving birth to, with the Empress energy here as a major arcana, an opportunity where it's going to feel like your ship has come in. So she is leaving behind maybe self-destructive tendencies and or he or she is now going to give birth to a forward movement, new passionate connections, uh, a person or group of people. So in the creative aspects position, we have the Wheel of Fortune as a major arcana. So this is a very karmic time for this cancer. Be careful what you give birth to if it does involve energies that are destructive. Because, you know, some may have to go back and learn things all over again. Others are going to step beyond what is unhealthy and recognize that their ship is coming in, that uh, the uh, fortune has turned in their favor. So in the actions position, we have this beautiful Ace of Wands energy as a gift from the universe. So the Ace of Wands in the actions position is about taking action to go into the direction of who or what you're very passionate and excited about. There's a realization here as a result of one's actions that indeed uh, a new path uh, is growing and that will grow and prosper in the area of home family, and business. So some cancers may be leaving behind self-destructive tendency, self-sabotage, and or someone else who's walking in that energy and are instead going into the direction of someone or something that you are passionate about. Uh, that's when, when we turn and move forward and leave behind unhealthy parts of ourselves or connections in our lives, that's when the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in cancer's favor and bring the, them a lot of excitement when it comes to a new path of family, home, or business. So in the emotional aspects, we have the Queen of Swords energy. This is someone who is constantly setting and meeting goals in a very balanced way. Someone who's not afraid to maintain their boundaries with others. Someone who's not afraid to speak their truth and to kindly, fairly, and justly cut away from someone here or something that has self-destructive energies. So in the subconscious position, we have the burdening card of the Six of Swords. So this is all about finding solace, being freed from an unhealthy addiction to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, or substance, and instead creating and giving birth to new people or places, creative ideas, uh, new 
directions by which you can be passionate about. That's what's going to bring you solace and free you from this energy of self-sabotage. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the Six of Cups. In some cases, this is someone who's thinking about a connection tied to the past, wanting to give birth to a situation that is no bueno, okay? It's only going to cause energies of burden, but Spirit is saying with the Six of Wands energies, it is time to leave any troubled uh, energies, waters, uh, experiences behind. Um, so in the inner strengths position, thank goodness, You've got this very popular King of Cups energy showing up all over the place. So there is a process of healing. I can dip my toe into new creative, financial, passionate directions and know that Spirit's giving me the strength to dip my toe in the water and remain emotionally balanced uh, to overcome any obstacles of the past and uh, move forward into a path where I can manifest greater fortune and passion and excitement into my life. So in a three card summary with the same Osha Zen Tarot deck, we've got the seven of pentacles, the seven of wands and the sun. So remain patient spirit saying with these two cards, uh, the seven of pentacles is a message that as you remain patient here in the second half of October of 2022 cancer, so too will your hard work and efforts eventually free you from whatever's weighing heavy upon you with the ten of wands. You are flowering and you are growing. And for those of you who are leaving negative uh, self-sabotage people, places, situations behind, you are flowering, you are developing and you are going with the flow in to the direction not only of what you're passionately taking action towards but into a new path of love of emotionally peace joy and happiness there are some who want to uh, step into a path of greater abundance and renew something tied to the past but spirit saying be careful if you're feeling this energy of the page of swords energies where you're in this protect and defend energy uh, it may be that because there's a realization that there could could be energies of heartache that could develop here or maybe that's what you've been dealing with in the past so cancers we have the seven of wands with the four of pentacles uh, the realization that uh, your actions up to this point or the actions of those around you have left you feeling like uh, you don't know which direction to go uh, in some cases with the miser energy there's a cancer here who's really really worried about uh, where they're at in the area of money and are wanting to move on so you know use the seven of cups energy of fantasy and illusion to apply your creativity and imagination to the manifestation of healing. For some, it could be that as you heal in some way, Spirit Saint, keep a journal of how you did that and then create a business or idea that you are passionate about out in this world because uh, I've been talking about this numerological number six year of 2022 where people are going to connect with like-minded people, where there's going to be genuine connections, where businesses are going to grow and prosper for the long term. So this is a time of observation with the hanged man energy and to allow yourself uh, to speak with kind words, uh, trusting that as you leave someone behind in a kind, healed way, so too are you manifesting a path of victory. So for some, we do have this, Well, and it's been another popular card. The high priestess is, again, mother figure, grandmother figure, um, wanting to heal in a situation and to continue to manifest forward movement. The high priestess plants seeds and follows her intuition, his or her intuition, until they have acknowledged what action steps to take. So that's a very karmic time. There may be some form of test here, but Spirit's offering up a final truth with the Ace of Swords. We have three aces. It is indeed a time for new beginnings, to let go of uh, what was, to enjoy the ordinary day to day, and to let go of who and or what no longer fulfills you with the, emotionally with the Ace 
uh, Eight of Cups. Somebody's really enjoying the sun energy of attention and recognition. Um, but I think Spirit's saying, think about something before making that wish come true. For some, uh, there is going to be a lion in sheep's clothing that's going to cause energies of great sorrow. So Spirit is helping this cancer to make the highest, best decisions in the second half of October of 2022. So if you're unsure about uh, self-sabotage, about a situation tied to the past, about making the highest, best decision, a personal reading uh, would be a great way for spirit to guide you out of those energies of burden into the direction of a new path of great excitement and passion. What did I say? A new beginning. And now's the time of manifestation with the number zero to get clear with yourself about what a new beginning looks like for you and trusting that prayer guardian angels are here to assist you in the second half of October of 2022 cancer you are at the beginning of a wonderful journey exclamation mark there is no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way at this time you have unique gifts cancer to offer the world if you will just free yourself from that which is holding you back. New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe, right? That wheel of fortune will turn in your favor. Your ship will come in in the relationship sector and free you from the burdens of sadness, worry, fear, regret, or indecision. Should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey or you would just like your own personal general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am uh, now offering the fall special which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try so thank you so so very much for your likes your shares and please click subscribe thank you to those of you who've attended the live zoom cast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcasts on Thursdays both at noon US Central Time it is only during the live YouTube podcast uh, where it, it, it's a chat session which is awesome where I do offer one month readings for a minimum of a $10 donation. So thank you, thank you so much for those donations as well. Cancer, take care and God bless.